Brent, Sarah, these new rights and protections will mandate automatic refunds for major flight disruptions, require airlines to disclose extra fees up front, and give Attorney General Tong's office more investigative power. I think all of us probably have uh, a story to tell about a missed flight, missed connection. After major air travel disruptions in recent years, Connecticut Attorney General William Tong and Senator Richard Blumenthal say they're following through with a promise to hold airlines accountable. They have failed to put consumers and passengers first. New federal rules will mandate automatic cash refunds, not travel vouchers, for passengers whose flights have been canceled or significantly delayed. That means a delay of at least three hours for a domestic flight and at least six hours for an international flight. The status quo won't fly anymore. Airlines will also be required to clearly disclose so-called junk fees and refund bag fees of luggage is not delivered within 12 hours of domestic flights. Before the rule, the Department of Transportation says passengers had to navigate airline websites and fill out extra paperwork to request a refund. The White House estimates the changes will save flyers around $500 million a year. People are going to be getting into airplanes. They'll be charged more if they want to sit next to their families. They'll be charged more if they want to check an extra piece of baggage. They'll be charged more nickel and dime. But the more important part of these changes, Blumenthal says, is enforcement. You can have all the great rules in the world, but they're dead letter if you don't have strong enforcement. A new memorandum of understanding between the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Connecticut Attorney General went into effect two weeks ago. It gives Tong's office the ability to actually investigate complaints and enforce rules with airlines. Now we say no, we have an agreement with the U.S. DOT where we step in their shoes, we use their authority to investigate and to get the airlines to do the right thing. Now, Tong and Blumenthal both said today this is the only the beginning for them. They still want to bar airlines from selling flights they don't have personnel to support, stop airlines from canceling flights and then upselling people for new flights. And on a federal level, Blumenthal is still working on passing a passenger bill of rights measure. He tells me that bill is currently in committee, but he does anticipate growing support for it. In studio, Emma Wolforst, Fox 61, Connecticut. Gets news station.